what's going on guys welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if you're returning for the greatness of spartacus according to y'all anyways spartacus i have reacted to shows like this before and in time you hear words like this you know it has to do with old maybe rome greek culture whatever it is spartan country spartan spartan culture you know if you've ever seen the movie tree 300 you know what i'm talking about i'm always for this you guys have warned me that there's a lot of frontal nudity in this one so this will definitely not i'm not putting this on youtube i'm not uploading this to youtube i mean other than the fact other than the nudity you know other than that i just not gonna do it again i literally just i think it was today that my copyright strikes got taken off i know one of them has been taken off but the other one is still there it might come off in a couple of days but the channel will be back with no copyright strike strikes pending or anything like that if you guys don't know the history spend a few seconds telling you guys what happened with those two copyright strikes and why i decided to stop really putting stuff on youtube um, when it comes to TV shows, animes, and stuff like that. I know anime is a little bit more leniency there. But with TV shows, I'm just not taking a chance anymore. Because that's what got me those two copyright strikes from me reacting to Rome. So, if you notice, you don't see Rome reactions on my channel anymore. They're not there. I deleted them all. I also deleted all of my Game of Thrones reactions because HBO gave me those two strikes on my channel. I almost lost my channel in the space of less than 24 hours. It was very frightening to say the least. And a lot of people, you know, they'll come by and they'll ask me, where are the Game of Thrones reactions, man? I see that you've done reviews and stuff of the seasons, but where are the, the reactions? I was, they were there. I deleted them all. I did not even try to save any of them because I was so scared in that moment that I was going to lose my channel. So I was actually in the process of taking, of trying to get them down, as in get them back. Because I do not save my reactions. When they're up on YouTube, I do not say, I don't save any of my reactions. Any reactions that I have, they're either on YouTube, on the Google Drive, or on BitChute. Okay, so I do not save them on my computer. That is way too much space for me to try to manage my reaction i think the fact i was trying to get them back off of youtube but that was not happening in less than like when i saw the first one come up i was trying to get them down and then while i was doing that the second one came in and i was like you know what i'm not gonna give them the chance to give me a third strike and then i'm gonna have to appeal the situation and you know probably tell youtube i'll never do it again or something like that so i'd rather just Keep it at that, delete them really quick, and stuff like that. If I was in a position of they weren't on YouTube and they were in the Google Drive, they would have been fine. Because they do block stuff on the Google Drive too. But all I really have to do is just download it from the Google Drive, re-uploading it, re-upload it back to the Google Drive, and it will be fine. But on YouTube, it's a little bit different. So I just deleted everything. Just forget about it. It's not that big a deal. Um, it's just... To me, it's just it's just reaction. Just know that I've seen the show already. So if you want to discuss, we can discuss. Um, it's not like I was making any money off of those videos, anyways. They were all claimed, so it it doesn't really it doesn't really hit matter like that to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, a couple of my Game of Thrones videos were the highest viewed on my channel. But as I said before, like. You know, I wish they would be a little bit more lenient because they already were claiming and, and getting all the money from the video anyway. So it was just kind of funny to me how they gave me copyright strikes after a while, you know, close to when I was finishing Rome too. So it was, it was just weird to me. Like they've been watching and waiting, you know what I mean? So in any case, man, let's go enjoy Spartacus. I am hyped to see this series because if you guys have seen any of my Rome reactions, you know how I love the blood and the gore. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very like squeamish to it, but at the same time, I don't mind watching it. So it's like, it's a weird situation. It's like I'm caught in between like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like seeing, you know, gut stuff 
spill out, but I just don't mind watching it because I know it, it's like there's a place in the back of my mind that's telling me, hey, they ain't real, so don't worry about it. But at the same time, it's just, it just, you know what I'm saying? It's just hard to look at, you know what I mean? So I'm not afraid of blood or anything like that. It ain't, it ain't like I, I faint when I see blood or anything like that. It's just, it just makes my skin crawl when I see like nasty ugh, ugh, stuff. So, um, so yeah, man, let's go watch Spartacus and see what this series is all about. I'll be doing the first episode of season one, which is called Spartacus Blood and Sand. And we will continue from there. I know that there is, I looked and I saw that there is a prequel. So if you guys want me to watch the prequel before I do season two, because it was published after season one let me know in the comment section okay so just let me know that and i will do the prequel before i go into to season two if necessary okay so let me know that of course um so thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're here for the first time there will be two links in the description for you guys to go and watch the full reaction and then come back to youtube for the review i know it's a chore i don't really like doing it but it's what i have to do to keep my channel safe because I do full reactions and nobody wants to see an hour, 10 minutes of, a, of my reactions of me just showing the stuff. And I'm a person that analyzes everything that I see. So it's very hard for me to just give you these little snippets of what I'm watching. You know what I mean? Like I used to cut up Rome and, and Game of Thrones to put on YouTube. Um, but I would still make the full reactions available because um, at, at least for, for the last season of Game of Thrones and also um, when it comes to um, what it is, Rome. So Rome, I was not doing full reactions for, um, but I would try to do as much of the episode as possible, maybe somewhere around 40 minutes of the one hour just to cut out those little in between parts of stuff that weren't necessarily important to the story a lot of stuff uh, there were some parts in rome because it didn't continue that weren't that important so i used to cut those out so um yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in man if you're here for the first time thanks for checking me out and let's go watch the episode All right, Spartacus Blood and Sand, episode one of season one, man. That was entertaining to say the least, man. You guys, man, are the best at suggesting shows, man. I have yet to for you guys to suggest a show to me that I don't enjoy to a level where I can say, okay, I'm, I have to finish watching this so I can... Whoosh, 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 put it in the bank you know what i'm saying and be like yeah i watch spartacus boy i watch rome game of thrones yes <laughs> i watch them all <laughs> the amount of tv show that's that's out there there are tv shows that i watch outside of youtube guys uh, but there are certain things there are certain shows, what is mostly like in the past. Nowadays, I'm not really watching anything. I'm only like continuing the stuff that I'm that I was already watching. Like I'm not picking up anything new these days because I know it might be in the suggestions and I will have to do it for the for the channel. Not that I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to tell you guys that I've watched something already because a lot of times there's series that I just don't want to watch over, um, you know, because they just. I, there's a lot of series out there that do not have rewatchability. You know what I'm saying? Like they just, they just don't. You know what I mean? You watch it one time, you enjoy it. Like Game of Thrones, I could never watch season eight again. Like I, I, I can't. As much as I love that show, they butchered the ending. I could never watch season eight again. So for me, I would. It would. You know what I'm saying? Like you just watching over the show just to get mad at the ending again. So, I am going to be reading the books, but that's neither here nor there. So, for Spartacus Episode 1, man, I love the fact that they did a flashback. I like the circular, um, the circular structure of the, the, um, the, um, the pilot episode. 
I love the fact that they kind of laid the ground, you know what I'm saying, the foundation for things to come in that one episode. They use these, what, 50 minutes to kind of show you that this is going to be a bloody world. This is more or less going to be about the arena, the politics, that those things too, maybe war. So, um, the... Is he a Spartan? Uh, they're wearing the Spartan helmet, but they keep saying something else. So I don't know if Spatian. I, I think that's what they're saying, like Spatian or something like that. I, I don't know. But you guys can let me know if that's the correct term and we're just saying the wrong thing. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that they're Spartans because they 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 um the, they wear the, the traditional, the helmet of the Spartans, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like how you've seen in this picture right here, that's the Spartan helmet. So I, I don't understand. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just kind of weird to me that they were not calling them Spartans. I thought they were. Maybe I'm just wrong and they're going with something different for the show. But who knows? But anyways, man, this this episode, his wife, very beautiful woman, by the way. Shout out to that actress because she is she won. <laughs> to say the least she, she won beauty <laughs> you know she won so um definitely man when it comes down to the nudity it, there was a lot it's it's like to the point of overload like there's not this much nudity anywhere except inside a strip club maybe <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like it's like in every scene, there's somebody naked, except when they're on the battlefield or in the arena. I mean, even in the crowd, even in the crowd, they were like, titties were out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the crowd of the, of the um, freaking Coliseum or whatever they call it. So, it, it's just nudity everywhere. Like, they're not afraid. And that's probably how it used to be. That's probably how it was back then in Rome. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably how it was no no doubt about it you know we weren't there we don't really know but i know it was a very very extremely sexual culture that they had and they kind of still do it you know because i mean you know it, it's italy so <laughs> you know um i've been a bit ah uh, let me not go there let me not go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me not go there. Let me leave that alone. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll talk about that in a different video. But anyways, things are moving. And I like the fact that things are moving. He lost his friend that, you know, they had a fight. And I was saying, oh, this is the same dude that we started out seeing fighting at the beginning of the episode. So pretty much all of them died. It, they, he brought in six of them, and he and he was the only one that left. And I think he recognized the thing because he because because of the dream that his wife had and told him about the the snake or a serpent or whatever. I don't remember exactly what what he said, but I do remember that it had something to do with him kneeling in front of a serpent. So you know what I'm saying. So hopefully he gets back to his wife somehow. That would be dope if that happens in the story at some point. I don't know what's going to happen going forward, but I know that dude really wanted that guy to pay because he's the one that caused all of this for him. You know what I'm saying? Because they probably would have never found out. He was trying to go grab victory and was left in the dirt, <laughs> you know, all knocked out because he fell off of his horse. So definitely looking forward to more off this series, man. Um, Great, great start. Great banging start. Um, no pun intended there. Um, so, yeah, man. Thank you guys again, man, for suggesting these shows and for giving me the opportunity to react to these shows and to show you guys, you know, cool stuff. <laughs> Anyways, man, you already know what it is. Gratitude is never enough, man. It's boy Terry by Reacts. Remember to like, leave a comment in the comment section, and also subscribe if you're new because there's more to come. I will see you guys later. Peace. Woo.